how can we make this chalkboard paint project starting from this? Let's find out. Repurposing, reusing, recycling, one thing for another is always a fun DIY project. We were at one of the local hobby type stores and they had these wall hangy placky things and they were originally $39.99, 40 bucks for a board. It's got a couple little hooks on it little piece of wood with three buttons on it unbelievable and they kept they had little yellow stickers on the back marked down marked down marked down and it was marked down to eight dollars and then it was actually 50 percent off so we got them for four bucks a piece three of them so here's our rust-oleum chalkboard paint in a can <laughs> and our board I took off the bottom piece and the buttons a couple of foam brushes to spread on the paint. Er, 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 er. So the first coat, let's get painting. And uh, we'll do the first coat kind of quick and thin. Just brush it on, get it to stick. Again, these foam cheap brushes don't work real well, but that's what I'm using. Just a light coat everywhere. If you would like to see more videos like this one, subscribe. So just keep painting. It takes a while. And again, light coat, just cover it real well. You want a thin coat on the entire board. Just getting this painted. And I'm kind of wishing that I have used the uh, spray paint chalkboard paint before. And I have to be honest, the spray paint is a little bit easier to use than this this stuff here then i let it dry for about two two and a half hours and now i'm putting on the second coat and i'm just putting this on thick which i don't really advise but that's why how i'm doing it a second thick coat to get the chalkboard paint covering up the entire board Definitely could be done better. I have used the spray chalkboard paint before, and it's Rust-Oleum too, so the, the spray Rust-Oleum. And in this project, I thought I would give the canned stuff a, a try. I just bought cheapo, like 80, 85 cent foam brushes, and probably a paintbrush would have worked better, but I didn't want to spend eight, nine, ten bucks on a paintbrush. So the spray can is definitely a smoother, flatter texture. The foam brush with the can paint is a little bit bumpy and irregular. So the choice is yours. So I'm using three hooks that I picked up at the hobby store. These are kind of an antique silvery white color to replace the buttons. So you can use hooks, buttons, knobs, pegs, whatever you want. I just grabbed three hooks from the store. Because the hooks are more vertical, top and bottom, I got to take my little Dremel here and I notched out where the hooks fit in through the holes. So now I'm just going to put the part the little wood bar piece with the hooks put it all back together and again the buttons were round so I just dremeled out a little notches so the buttons would fit down in there and just put the three of them in we'll be good to go here it's a nice feeling when you can reuse repurpose recycle something and use it for something else then I just tighten down the nuts on the back with a little wrench. This just pulls the hook down into the wood good and snug and tighten it down just till the washer kind of starts to sink in and get all three of them good and tight. Pretty simple. Easy, simple project. And there we go. Three hooks on the wood and you can hang things on here. 
your car keys or whatever. And again, you could use whatever you want. You can put the buttons on or pegs or hooks, knobs, whatever. Now the bolts are sticking out the back side, which is obviously a bad thing. You don't want to have bolts sticking out if you're going to hang it on the wall. I could have countersunk them down in so they'd be more flush. But for us, I decided to just do it this way and keep the project simple. You can use this thing yourself, maybe in your kitchen or by the door where you keep your keys. It makes a great gift, too. Eye protection. Wear your eye protection. So I'm taking a cutting blade on my Dremel and cutting off the bolts. Oop, be careful. And uh, cutting them off, the bolts flush with the nut. And again, if you really wanted to do this slick, you could take a large drill bit and, and sink in a, a hole so the nut would sit down inside. But we're going to fix that. We're going to take care of it in a second. I'll show you how I'm going to do it after we get these three bolts cut off. Pretty easy to do. Just be safe. So I'm just taking a little sanding wheel and buffing off so there's no sharp spur edge, so it's good and smooth. Then I had another project. I made some Mod Podge tiles. Hey, I'll put a link to that so you can watch that if you want. And these little felt pads. So I'm going to cover up the nut on the back of the board, each one with three little pads, one over each nut. So if you hang it on the wall, the pad will help keep it in place and it won't scratch things up for you. So three pads on the back of the three nuts. Easy peasy. And there we go. Our finished chalkboard. Yay! <laughs> Let's go hang it on the wall. <laughs> DIY projects are fun. Chalkboard paint project, recycling, repurposing, reusing. Subscribe. Watch another video. Live life doing it yourself. Happy, fun loving, and always carefree. <laughs>